I will say I definitely miss the good old days where people would actually sleep outside of stores and eventually smell each other's coffee breath, elbow each other in the ribs just to save like $10 on a microwave or God forbid like $20 on a flat screen. And I don't miss it because I was ever a part of it, but I just miss it because I could drive by and make fun of those people. But those days are long and gone. You could literally just chill in your underwear and just order everything on Cyber Monday. You probably get the same deals without having to leave your house. But I guess if you did actually want to go out and find the deals yourself, you could always do that. Just make sure, you know, you're wearing your pants. The non-pants wearing only works if you're doing it online but today's video has nothing to do with black friday as a matter of fact it's the complete opposite of black friday there are no savings involved and to be brutally honest some of the figures on today's list probably are as expensive as a car payment we're going to be looking at the top five most expensive build a figure figures from the marvel legends line as i said before the prices can fluctuate here and there i'm just basing off of the little amount of research that i did at that particular moment some figures might spike later while i'm editing this video but at the moment of me recording this they were the most expensive at least on ebay and a few other third-party retailers without wasting any more breath any more oxygen any more saliva let's get straight into it with number five where we have the galactus toy biz build a figure marvel legend action figure this was a figure that actually was going for pretty decent amounts a couple of years ago way before the hazlab project was ever announced obviously as soon as the get the hazlab project came out or was announced and it was fully funded i think this figure dropped by quite a bit you can probably go and pick it up in decent condition for just over a hundred dollars if you want one that's in really good condition you're probably gonna have to fork over about 140 to 150 but i think it's worth it instead of getting something with like loose joints or a, a couple of you know little kinks here and there on the paint now i don't really count this price but in case you guys are looking for the actual wave like brand new in packaging you would probably be paying close to about 500 dollars. but again i, I didn't really want to get too much into that because i'm only talking about the figures themselves complete sold online rather than like the actual wave because that would be you know exponentially way more uh, expensive but still if you're not interested in all the bells and whistles if you're not interested in all the cool light up features the extra tier levels the extra articulation if you just want a semi big stripped down version of galactus then this is probably your best option here like i said you can buy a decent one for just over a hundred dollars if you go for uh, the haslab project i think that one is i don't know what the uh, third party goes for depending on what website you're looking at but it's still going to go for you know over six to seven hundred dollars depending on where you pick it up so it's still a much more reasonable option and like i said it's definitely not as big not as articulated but the sculpt work is still there it, a lot of attention to detail it's still a formidable figure especially if you don't have the room for it or you can't really fix it into your budget at the moment it's still a very uh, good option so there we have it with number five let's jump straight into number four where we have another toy biz marvel legends entry we have the old school apocalypse action figure this was released around the 2006 era where the build a figure action figures were just huge this is supposed to be i believe i read online about 14 inches big it's huge it's colossus it has decent articulation great sculpt work solid paint job all around it's not going to come with like i said all of the updated stuff that the marvel legend line has been receiving recently no pinless uh you know no double joints everywhere no butterfly joints nothing too insane but again if you're looking for just a solid entry into your collection this is a really good figure to pick up not to mention there was a newer release which is closer to about the eight inch mark definitely a lot smaller but again uh, updated articulation updated uh, technology so if you guys want to pick that one up that one is still going up there uh, it, for either version that you want you're still going to pay roughly about like 140 to 150 for one that is in a good solid condition though it seems you are going to have to be very patient with this particular figure because 
the retail or the market is dictating closer to like 200 uh, but if you're if you go bargain hunting if you maybe are able to win a really good bidding war i think you can find it for about the 150 range but if you do buy it now options for one that's in really good condition you know from a collector you'll probably be paying closer to about 200 so like 180 i've seen some of them go as for as high as like low 200 so like 210 215 including shipping so just keep an eye on that like i said the range is pretty wide on this one uh, if you're looking for one just to sit in your display but like i said if you're going to pick one of these up you definitely want the one that's in the best condition possible and those seem to be closer to the 200 dollars range i will say this is definitely a figure that needs an update we did get like i said an eight inch marvel legend build a figure not too long ago this was a few years ago but I definitely feel like this could be a really good HasLab project. Not to say that he's going to be as big as Galactus, but I really like the Toy Biz era build a figure sizes this seems to be like a figure that would fit perfectly at around that 14 inch range or the 12 inch range so hopefully uh you know hasbro decides to do something like that kind of an updated galactus uh better articulation better paint applications newer technology maybe extra accessories we'll see what happens in the uh, near future but for now you're definitely gonna have to fork over close to about 200 dollars if you want to pick this one up let's get straight into number three Three, where we have an old crusty dusty body mold i know we're not talking about your mom we're talking about the marvel legends toy biz build a figure sentinel action figure and basically everything that i said about galactus applies to the sentinel we did receive a newer version with a lot more to offer clearly but it is a much higher price point even if you were picking it up retail you were still looking at about 400 dollars with uh, taxes and shipping included now you're probably looking at a price tag closer to 700 so if you don't really want to spend that much money you can always go for the toy biz era sentinel which goes roughly for about 200 dollars. like i said there's always some that sell for a little bit less but the market dictates that it's going to be sold from from you know low 200s 220 all the way up to 250 depending on what the what condition you want it to be in however there are listings for as high as you know 280 to 300 dollars and i'm assuming all of it depends on condition it depends on whether there's that much of a demand in that particular moment or whether you're kind of bidding against yourself i think it depends on a lot of different factors but high 200s i think is is basically where the market is at the buy now price point now as i said before there is an updated version what's really interesting about this particular build a figure is that it didn't necessarily drop too much when the hazlab project was announced it has uh, stayed pretty potent for the most part it has stayed consistent so even though you do have uh, another option which again a much better option with the hazlab project this figure still retains value is still going to look at uh you know about a 300 dollar price point whereas in galactus definitely dropped quite a bit now you're looking at a figure that you used to have to pay roughly about that you know like high 200s to 250 now you're looking to pay about a hundred dollars after the aslap project so just a very intriguing situation all around but as i said if you want to pick this one up you're you're looking at you know high 200s to low 300s let's move on to the second spot on today's list we are looking at the pit build a figure figure this one's a really interesting situation guys because unlike uh, all of the entries on today's list most of these figures have dropped in value or are somewhat easy to obtain you can actually pick some of these up locally like if you look at local like facebook sellers usually there's like three or four listings per state or per city so it's pretty easy to acquire them whereas in the pit uh, action figure is a little bit more difficult you'd honestly have to sell a kidney to get this not because it's expensive but just because it's very difficult to find in very good condition sometimes you might have to pay upwards of like a hundred dollars just for a leg or an arm and i know i've been saying this basically throughout the entire video so far and almost every entry but again this is an outdated marvel Legends series this is definitely a figure that shows its age it's very reminiscent of like the older marvel select figures very little articulation i don't think it necessarily displays too well with like modern marvel legends or modern uh, marvel displays as a whole 
but it's definitely a really cool figure to have if you are into like the retro action figures or the retro toy biz figures from back in the day i think uh, that figure just fits perfectly in a more retro environment now if you're looking to pick this one up same thing it's definitely a pricey figure you're looking at like low 300s but it can also consistently sell for about 350 depending on the era depending on what the collector community as a whole is dictating at that time i honestly wouldn't be surprised if at some point hasbro decides to re-release this somehow in like a deluxe packaging or some sort of haslab project so just keep your eye on it and hopefully we see a re-release down the line as if there was any doubt what the top spot on today's list was going to be we have the marble legends toy biz fin fang foom this is the kind of figure that gives some hardcore collectors wet dreams it is absolutely beautifully sculpted and it's a figure that you can actually go out and pick up some knockoffs or reproductions of online and even the reproductions are not really that cheap you're still gonna have to pay a couple hundred dollars for it but it's a phenomenal figure that a lot of people have questioned why hasbro hasn't decided to reproduce it themselves but if you think you're getting a big giant christmas bonus and you're feeling like a big baller you can actually pick this up complete in really good condition for almost about 400 dollars i've seen them sell for a little bit under and the market dictates that it's it's gonna sell in the high 300s i saw a listing for as for as high as 500 dollars. i'm assuming that much probably like in mint condition you know smoke free home all that good stuff but if you're looking for just a decent version or just a good solid collector's complete build a figure i definitely think that you're gonna have to fork over almost about 400 dollars. but as i said we're seeing a lot of these overseas companies reproduce these obviously the quality of them is much much lower but i'm surprised that hasbro hasn't jumped in on this they're definitely losing money they're letting these opportunities slip through their hands granted uh, i don't think that hasbro would ever reproduce produce these as a build a figure figure because back then they were just making these massive action figures compared to today's standards where a build a figure is usually like seven to nine inches tops whereas in this figure is absolutely enormous by today's standards so like i said keep an eye on it you may be able to land an absolute deal at like low 300s if you're very patient so just keep an eye on all of those bidding wars keep an eye on all the listings if you're interested in this one but there you have it the top five most expensive build a figure figures from marvel or from hasbro as a whole like i said i was going to kind of mix in today's list with you know hasbro and toy biz i wasn't really going to segregate them this is just marvel legends build a figure the most expensive so there you have it let me know your thoughts down below thank you guys so much for tuning in hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff let me know what your most expensive marvel legend is in your collection at the moment and uh, I'll try to respond to you guys if I get a chance. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.